What's going on? What's going on, everybody? I'm sorry. I'm just so fucking angry. Um, Manza Musa here, but um, I'm just reacting to what Jimmy Dore and Aaron Maté got wrong in criticizing me by Kyle Kalinske of Secular Talk. And you know what? I am just so pissed off right now. Like, there are many reasons why I'm mad. So first of all, this is leftist infighting right here, okay? We have to stop the leftist infighting. Even if you have an issue, can you guys just handle it like outside of social media and YouTube and away from a screen? Can you handle it personally? Because we cannot show weakness. Like, do you understand that? We have eyes on us. Just as I have eyes on them. Just as we have eyes on the right. Like, and the thing is, Jimmy's dumbass. Jimmy, he, he has a conservative audience. Like, there's no doubt about that. No doubt about that. If you watch my last video, <laughs> you'll know. Okay? Even he knows this. Now, there is some good to this, and I'll get to the good of this later. That he has a conservative audience. But the bad to this is that this conservative audience, they see this leftist infighting. And they are just sitting the back with a... But with a tin of popcorn, they are just sitting back with um, a bottle of Lubriderm and some and Kleenex wipes, just jerking off to this whole <laughs> mess. Honestly, okay, this is like this is delicious to them. If the and you know what, I understand if Jimmy had a problem with some other leftists like TYT, but he's gone after Kyle now. Like Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy and I, I agree with Jimmy on a Jim, Jimmy, Jimmy on a lot of things. Like the Democrats are corrupt. I'm on the left, but I absolutely hate the Democrats. The Democrats are evil, not all, but, and guess what? The Democrats are actually conservatives. More majority of them against not not all, but yes, that is what we agree on. We're both anti-war. We are both anti-censorship, pro-free speech. And God, I got to make that video on why the left should defend free speech. But, um, yeah. But him going after Kyle, this is just ridiculous. Like, I thought him and Kyle were cool. Like, hold on, take a look at this video. Jimmy Dore. Kyle Kalinske. It was this video where he was... Hold on, it's a, it's an old ass video. Um, oh yeah, progressive easily owns Fox News panel. So you see, yeah. So what the fuck is the Vosh pet covering the Kyle Kalinske versus Jimmy Dore uh, versus TYT drama? It's that big. I guess TYT is in the mix of this. So um, yeah, let me just break it down for you. So Kyle Kalinske, he basically called out um. Jimmy Dore uh, sexually harassing Anna Kasparian, and Jimmy Dore went ballistic. My thing is, Jimmy, like, what you did was shitty, and I made a video on that, but that doesn't mean we don't uh, disagree with some of the stuff. Like, I still agree with some of the stuff, but what you did was shitty, and I, frankly, I believe you owe Anna, Anna an apology. Like, and I don't fuck with TYT because they lie too much, but you should at least owe Anna an apology. Like, for what you did. Like, did you? I think he did. Oh, wait. Yeah, I remember. He wrote some apology card, but I think that was a joke, too, because he's a comedian. Fuck. But, um, yeah, like, what he did was fucked up. And, even, like, even if we agree on the same things, I will call you out on that. So... Let me get to why that it's good that he has a conservative base. Mostly conservative. I'm not saying it's all conservative. There are some um, libs in there, left-leaning people. And in fact, a lot of people from Secular Talk watch Jimmy Dore. Yeah, they do. Gotta love him. Kyle Kalinske, he needs to be protected at all costs, okay? At all costs. You, the right, they got Ben Shapiro, Ben Shabibo. We have Kyle Kalinske, but guess what? Kyle's better because he's not cringe. He's not cringe. He's entertaining. And that's not to say Ben's not entertaining, 
But Ben is entertaining in a cringy way. But Kyle is not ent is entertaining in a non-cringe way. Seriously, like, let me link in the description um, Kyle Kalinske out of context, and you'll just see how this man is entertaining. But yes, he's entertaining, and he's smart as shit, and he's a progressive, okay? Like, and, and that does not mean that um, he's not actual justice warrior. He made a few videos on Kyle. Um, but not an alarm. He doesn't, like, Kyle doesn't show up on his radar that much. Really. So, yeah, he's even immune to actual justice warrior. So they say. Oh, shit. I hope he's not going to look at his videos now. Um... <laughs> But what was I saying? Right. So a lot of um, uh, Kyle Kalinske viewers, they watch Jimmy Dore. So the reason there's good in this, too, that um, Jimmy Dore has a right-wing base is that that right-wing base, and I've heard about them changing their view on Medicare for All, changing their view on minimum wage, and I think it's working. Like, he's actually, actually getting them hooked on progressivism. So that's the good thing about having a right-wing base. Like, and we talked about the Mike Figueroa effect, the fact that Jimmy Dore, he calls out the Justice Dems. Um, he really does, and I love that about him. But the fact that he's calling them out, that's like bringing in conservatives like bees to honey. Like, they're just attracted to that sort of negativity. And I say negativity because, truth be told, many leftists, they hate it when we call out the Democrats. But we have to do this, okay? If we have to be better. Like, just like the Republicans, they don't, I'm the conservatives, they don't like the Republicans because they don't consider them cowardly. That's the same thing. We have to hate, <laughs> it's funny because I feel like deep down both sides should hate the parties that represent them. And... That's what I'm striving for. We need to hate the Democrats. And guess what? Some people already do. Like you heard those eco-protesters, they called out Biden. I'm starting to see this on the left. And it's beautiful. Like even Kyle, he calls out Biden all the time. We make fun of him and it's fun. Like, do you, rem do you ever remember the conservatives making fun of Trump? No, he was their God emperor, their king. Like they're so insecure that they made up you know, that Trump derangement syndrome thing. And while that is a problem, the fact that they made that up shows that they have concern for their God Emperor Trump, okay? But Biden, he's not our God Emperor. He's just some bit, bitch made man that we elected because orange man bad. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'd rather have, and Joe Rogan, he said that electing Biden is like having a broken flashlight um, in a walk through the woods. And guess what? I'd rather have a broken flashlight in the walk through the woods than a flashlight that might explode. That liter that works fine, but it might explode at any second. And it, it just can't shut the fuck up for some reason. It's a talking flashlight that can't shut the fuck up. <laughs> and yeah, it's just super cringe. Like, it's just gonna annoy me along the way. But um, yeah. That's the same thing. We know Biden. He's just some old senile. Yes, a bit senile, but not so senile that he can't run the country. Like, he can still make some appearances and shit like that. But, um, yes, he's just this old, cranky <laughs> grandpa. And we can make fun of him, and we love it. We love it. But, shit, what was I talking about? I don't want to ramble too much. But, um... Oh, Mike Figueroa effect? Yeah, so he calls out the Democrats, and that brings in conservatives because they're attracted to that negativity, that negativity against the Democrats, who are, by extension, part of the left. But, um, um uh, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, it looks like he's actually getting them turned on to the ideas of Medicare for all and minimum wage, which is good. Like, oh my gosh, and I can't wait for all the conservatives who are going to cry because of those things. They're going to be like, you're not being a real conservative. We are traditional conservatives. You know who you are. You know you speak that way. Okay. Um, 
but yeah so that's the good of having a right wing base um but the like i said the bad of it is that they have eyes on us and they are jerking off and eating popcorn to this leftist infighting they see our weakness they see our achilles heel okay we must remain vigilant i <clears throat> know listen when it comes to politics i'm a soldier okay i am a soldier i am a general okay i'm strategic in that sense so we cannot show our weakness okay just like when um kim clasic and that bitch candace were fighting candy girl <laughs> and that bitch candy girl were fighting um like i think she mentioned the same thing that this is right wing infighting you know there's a lot of right wing infighting but um yeah so without further ado let's get into this video this may look like it's from jimmy Dore, but as you see this is kyle okay to aaron mate and uh jimmy Dore respond to my segment on their beef with tyt and uh i have a lot to say about it now again let me say up front there's nothing i want to do less than this segment i don't have any segment at all but now I feel like I'm in a position where I have to respond. So I absolutely uh, like I admire his bravery because even the things that like we don't want to talk about, but we just have to address. And I'm glad he's doing this because TYT, like Jimmy Dore, he was always owning TYT. And as much as I hate TYT, we because they're essentially they're essentially like Fox. <laughs> as much as I hate TYT. They needed to address it, okay? They needed to just suck it up one day and say, let's talk about this shit, okay? And I like that Kyle is doing this early on before it festers. And, it, and trust me, it would have festered had he not done this. I mean, and sure, it's just creating, carrying the conversation more, but it would have festered into something that one day would just burst, like... <laughs> We just burst and create too, so much damage on the left, okay? So I'm glad he's addressing it now before it gets any worse. Where there are areas where I think I'm wrong, I'm going to admit it, and I'm going to own up to it, and I'm going to correct the record, and I'm going to apologize. And there are some of those areas. There's two areas where I think I'm wrong, and I think Jimmy is owed an apology. There's also a number see, of see, areas humility. I think they're wrong or complete. guess what the most smartest and ingenuous uh intellectually honest people basically people with strength of character will are strong enough to admit when they're not wrong a real man will admit when he's wrong okay oh, oh the bigger person since you know and let's talk about people not just men because <laughs> Like, a real, the bigger person will admit when they are wrong. That includes you females, but I'm sorry, but some of y'all females are just incredibly petty and you can't admit when you're wrong. But to those that can admit that they're wrong, good on you. ...misinterpreting something that happened. So let's dive into all of it. We're going to break it all down. Hopefully this is the last thing I have to say about it, but we'll see. For all we know, we could be responding video to video from now until the end of time that's um, what i so just said that's what i meant by it's better that you re like you respond video to video for the end of time than for it him to just continue to talk shit until it creates this big massive explosion that the left does not need in the future just like that t what when tyt finally responded to um jimmy which i made a reaction video to that will show our weakness. So it's better that you keep responding video after video after video in case he does do this. So that way, you know, the right-wingers that are watching this jerking off eating popcorn will just get bored of the show and then go back to, um, I don't know, jerking off to, uh, who, who's, uh, no, no, I'm not going to disrespect her like that. And go just go back to jerking off to, like, uh, like a black guy calling out CRT with his daughter or Candace Owens' brother ranting like Kanye West <laughs> in a university about how he got a medical degree, which is a fucking lie, by the way. He has no goddamn medical degree. You know what I'm talking about. Or um, 
Yeah, just these weird people calling out CRT when I guarantee you most of them don't even know what the fuck it is. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and start. Take a look at this first clip. And to be honest, Kyle said a lot of things in there that I was appreciative of him saying. So that was very nice. Of him. He said things like, of course, Jimmy's not a right winger. Jimmy's not a grifter. Jimmy is a guy who's on the left and, and it criticizes the Democrats from those. So that and yes, Jimmy is on the left. And I, I know in the beginning, at first, I doubted this, but he is. Because guess what? Right wingers don't fuck with Jimmy, okay? They've, I've talked to many of them, the ones that aren't on his comments, the one that don't stream his comments, they said, we don't fuck with him. Like, he's our enemy. <laughs> like, and, and I saw this from a live stream of Tria Logic, actually um, on 4th of July. She said that, um, yeah, she just, he, Jimmy Dorsch, they don't agree on the same things. And I'm just so overjoyed, I am, because if Jimmy has a huge right wing following and an actual conservative says that she, a black right winger, says that she does not fuck with him, that gives me so much hope that many other right wingers, who she will say are not real right wingers, are, are flocking to Jimmy, a left winger, that like, and that's why Jimmy, he definitely has purpose on the left. The fact that he, like, let me ask you something. Do you know any right-wingers that are going to watch uh, Trevor Noah? <laughs> like, do you know any right-wingers that are going to watch, um, I don't know, David Pakman? Or, uh, or Vosh? Or, um, let's see, uh, Contra Points? No. Like, and vice versa. Do you see any left-wingers that are going to watch Steve Carter? Do you see any left-wingers that are going to watch Tim Pool? Do you see any left-wingers that are going to watch regularly uh, Ben Shapiro? No. So the fact that Jimmy was able to do this shows that he's got magic, okay? And that magic is something we need here on the left. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah, he's not a right-winger. He's on the left. And if we want the left to continue to thrive, Jimmy is definitely one of the people we should listen to. Super helpful that he said all that. And I also, you know, I think yesterday I said it too on the show that I was super grateful to Kyle for his support of Force the Vote. He was the most eloquent defender of Force the Vote. Yep, and, uh, yep, remember that. I was really happy about that. I was really grateful. Listen, you know Boo. people will always tell you to slow down. Okay, so let me just say this. this um, I might make a part two, and if I, the part two may not be right away because even now I'm tired. I got I got to stop making these videos so goddamn late. All right, so a uh, couple things here. First of all, thank you, Jimmy. Um, my response is the same thing I said previously. I think you're a totally honest actor. I know you believe every single word you say. I know you're super passionate. Um, I wouldn't doubt your integrity for a second. I think that the criticisms are absurd when people say you're a right winger or you're a grifter or whatever. A grifter? Um, so I just want to establish here, number one, a mutual respect. Number two, a friendship. But number three, and this is probably most important, he's showing here, okay, Kyle is a good faith actor. Kyle's a good faith actor. He's an honest person. What he's saying comes from a good place. He's not malicious. He's not a liar. He's not a smear merchant. You know, he's keeping it real. Okay, so we've established that. Wonderful. I do want you to take note, though. When it's stuff that I agree with them, that's their perception of me. You'll see when there's areas where we disagree or where they think we disagree or they don't like something I said or did, all of a sudden that assumption of good faith or that charitable interpretation, it goes out the window. So let's continue. You see, I'm going to talk here about the drama between Jimmy Dore and Aaron Mate versus the Young Turks. So I just want to reiterate, I don't want to do this segment. I don't want to talk about it. I've bent over backwards to stay out of this fight. Now, some of you might not like that. 
I don't care. I don't care. I'll never hide a single thing from any of you when it comes to policy. But when it comes to personal shit, <laughs> I don't want to get involved in it. And I want to stay out of it. Smart. Okay, now, I'll just briefly comment on that. Like, And we'll talk about it more as we go on. But it was incorrect of him to state it as drama. All right, so let me be clear. It's not just drama. It's a lot more than just drama. A big part of it is about Syria. A big part of it is about force the vote. A big part of it is about Russiagate. All of these substantive issues. Now, on the policy stuff, though, nobody has to guess where I'm at. Everybody knows exactly where I'm at. Okay, I'm so it's Donald funny Trump. because a week ago he was, um, he wasn't uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I don't know. Um, where, where wasn't he having disagreements with Vosh about the left and shit like that? So this is a conspiracy. I think somebody is trying to destabilize the left from the inside out. Huh? Like, what if this was somebody manipulated and instigated this whole situation, a right winger, to destabilize the left so we would reveal our weakness? So that way, in this moment of weakness, this would be somebody's best time to strike. Like, what if all of this was orchestrated? You know, Vosh, um, Kyle Kalinske, TYT, Jimmy Dore. All of this was orchestrated. Time's over. But that stuff is important. That stuff is substantive. I will never shy away from that stuff. The reason I call it trauma is because of the other stuff. Now we're talking about, rightly or wrongly, rightly or wrongly, we're talking about hashtag me too stuff we're talking about blackmail we're talking about people being liars and smear merchants and <laughs> and right wingers and corrupt and every negative thing you can think of <laughs> right wing a negative thing it is personal and people are going after integrity and motivations yes i'm a lot more hesitant to step in there because in order for me to comment on that stuff man there's so much stuff to unpack it's hard to unpack everything. It's hard to get back to the root. It's hard to comment on every nook and cranny. So the easier thing is, hey, let me just stay out. I'll stick to the policy stuff, and you guys can handle all that other stuff. Okay, continue. I don't agree with Anna on that. She said that. It was fucked up. But as soon as I read that tweet, I said, uh-oh, here we go. This shit is about to get nuclear. Because you have one gear, and that gear is... Kyle's okay. sipping the tea. Okay, and, uh, well, let me just show this. So he, he makes it... I, I don't get it makes it sound like that's a negative first of all he shows a bunch of videos where I'm completely level-headed and arguing uh, in, in good faith for the young Turks but uh, which kind of undermines what he just said that I only have one speed but here it, I don't mind people saying that that's actually I take it as a compliment because people on we need people on the left who are going to go nuclear because they won't even go conventional uh, they won't even do anything huh so uh, they're doing nothing so people want someone to go nuclear but here but I always thought that was a good thing. I thought Kyle agreed with that because when he was on Joe Rogan, this is what they said. Sure. You know what's been amazing? Jimmy Dore. Jimmy Dore's yeah. fucking podcaster. He is... He's a good friend of mine. He's, I love Jimmy Dore. He's calling everybody out. Everybody on the left, that everybody on the right. breathes. Okay, everybody on the right. Okay, settle down. Settle down. Like, the and you know what? I should have said this earlier, but here's a flaw I have with Jimmy. Jimmy, I like that he calls out the Democrats... But it would be really, really nice if he called out the Republicans just as much. And to be fair, listen, Brian Tyler Cohen, Conan, love him. You got to check out his channel. He calls out the Republicans all the time. And guess what? I have the same criticism for him. Can he call out the Democrats sometime? Like, because the thing is, we have to be better than conservatives. Conservatives, they... Some of them, like, uh, who, what conservative is calling out the conservatives? Um, shit, I don't know. But just assume that there's very few of them that call out the Democrats and the, con and the um, Republicans. A uh, conservative calling out a Republican. But, um, yeah, Brian Tyler Cohen, he, Conan, Conan, is Cohen? Shit, Cohen. <laughs> yeah, he, um, I, he, and... Not as much as Jimmy. Definitely not as much as Jimmy. But from time to time, he needs to call out a, a Democrat. Like a Maxine Water or Nancy Pelosi or two. 
<laughs> but, um, and same thing for Jimmy. I wish he would, like, from time to time, just, and he rarely does, he does rarely do this. Like, he called out um, Ben Shapiro when he said he wouldn't bake a, bed, a wedding cake. He called out Ben Shapiro when he went after Bernie Sanders. He called out, um, I'm not going to link those two, but you'll have to find them yourselves. But I will link this one. He called out Trump when he gassed protesters. And that's when I fell in love with Jimmy. Uh, that's when I said, Jimmy is based. And guess what? When they were spreading that lie that George Floyd died of a fentanyl overdose, I'll link this too. He was the one saying that it was total bullshit and that he did not coincidentally die of a fentanyl overdose, okay? Jimmy is on the left, okay? He's done things to prove himself that he is on the left. He's based. Like, so yeah. He calls out the Republicans from time to time. But I wouldn't say he calls them all out. Like, I wish he would call them out a bit more. Like, I wish he would call out the Democrats and the Republicans equally. But then again, who knows? Maybe the Democrats do more stupid shit than the Republicans. That doesn't give the Republicans off the hook, though. Okay? They're still evil. But at least the Republicans will tell you they are evil, as Rose McGowan says. The Republicans, they will... And this isn't Rose, but she basically said that Republicans are more honest about who they are. Like, but here's what somebody says about Republicans. They say Republicans will stab you in the front. Democrats will stab you in the back. And I, I agree. Fire. He really does. <laughs> he breathes fire. He doesn't Jimmy give does. a fuck. He yeah. goes hard. He was doing this. Shop, compare, and save hundreds with American freight furniture. Oh my God. Why the fuck are there so many commercials here? This is going to be a long ass video. Okay, so again, this is probably the first example of him uh, misinterpreting intent on my part. When I said Jimmy Dore has one gear and it's nuclear, I'm not saying that in that instance with a negative or a positive connotation. I'm saying it just as an objective descriptor. Now, an objective in descriptor. My opinion, he's right. When it comes to politics, nuclear go nuclear all day long we need politicians and we need media figures who are willing to go nuclear because like he says nobody's willing to go nuclear and he's right about that so when it comes to politics okay can somebody please explain this to me what is what does he mean by go nuclear like what do they mean by that jimmy said that earlier and i'm like what like are they saying go mainstream are they saying like just somebody, if you know what they mean, please explain. In the national debate, nuclear all day long, I love it, and that's what Jimmy does. However, when it comes to private matters, personal matters, dealing with friends and family, nuclear is not as preferable, and you shouldn't go to it nearly as much. It's, a, it's not true, to be fair and to be clear. He has shown restraint at various times. But, yes, one of the criticisms is, and I think you'll see this throughout the course of the video here, um... He misinterprets a number of things, and then he does end up going nuclear, perhaps inadvertently, but he ends up going nuclear on me when we've already established that, hold on, I'm a good faith actor, and I mean well, and my criticisms are coming from a place of good faith, but then you end up going nuclear on me. So, yes, the nuclear nature that's good at the political level might not be as beneficial at the friendship level or at the personal level. Continue. Maybe so. Crystal and I were planning to have... Jimmy on Crystal Kyle and Friends one day. We were planning to have Jank on Crystal Kyle and Friends one day. And then as we watched this, we decided, you know what? We don't want to have either one of them on right now. Because then we would be responsible for getting in the middle of this absolute mess. And we would have to ask really uncomfortable questions that are really personal in nature. And... I don't want to have anything to do with some personal shit. <laughs> Look at Jimmy. I care about policy. I don't care about personal shit. When I said there, listen, if he comes on Crystal Kyle and friends, I'm obligated. I have a responsibility to ask questions about this. Now, I'm going to ask questions not that I think are unfair, not that I think feed into the smear or validate the smear. Uh -huh. I'll ask a question like, hey... When they threatened you, when Anna threatened you, when she effectively blackmailed you. Blackmailed, that's what Jimmy said. Allegations. It was an unfair situation. But in retrospect, do you feel 
like you worded everything right? Or would you sort of change the way you did it because you did go a little too far, talk about she's dressing inappropriately and effectively slut shamed her? And he did. And you know what I respect? So like I said earlier, Jim, um, Kyle, he's doing exactly what Jimmy is not doing. He's admitting that he did wrong. He's admitting his mistakes. He's in admitting that he's only human and he has flaws. But Jimmy is not. He's not. He's not even admitting, okay, maybe I could have not said that about Anna. Maybe I shouldn't have harassed Anna like that. I'm so sorry. Like, he doesn't, he's not showing any remorse. And I feel like he's letting his hate of TYT, which is justifiable. Because like I said, TYT, they lie too much. Like, there's probably, only probably half of the stuff they say in there is true. Like, at maybe at like 70%. But the rest is lies. Like when they slandered Aaron Mate, um, you you know that video. Anna goes in on Aaron Mate, but shit, what was I gonna say? Um, tired, but he could have admitted when he was wrong. Like he's letting his hate of TYT cloud. Like he's just. I feel like the reason he's not apologizing is because he's spiteful. Like, he's saying, these people, they didn't defend, force the vote. They're not real leftists. They haven't done anything for the left. They've done, like, he just, and then that's why he doesn't want to apologize out of spite. Because he's basically spitefully saying that, I don't owe you nothing. <laughs> okay? <laughs> like, how dare you ask me for an apology when you guys just abandoned, force the vote. Which he seems really emotional on. And they re we really should have forced the vote, okay? Like... We cannot, like, the Republicans were probably going to cry. They, like, you, mu you might as well fiber in what you believe in if you want to do what these Republicans want you to do. Like, you might as well be them. Vice versa. But, yes, we should have forced the vote for Medicare for all. Okay? In retrospect, how do you feel about how you handled that? Now listen, this is an example of, I think that's a perfectly valid and substantive question. I don't think that's a question that validates a smear. I think that's a question a lot of people want to know the answer to. A lot of fair-minded people want to know the answer to. Here's the problem. Red the problem is that there are no fair-minded people. Look how many dislikes there are. 11K. But the good news is there are 12K likes. Okay? So what? I'm glad. I really, I am. Because it means that there's more of us that are fair-minded and see that Kyle, there's some nuance to this. Kyle has, you know, has put some, cleared everything up, if you will. And the 11, they're probably just pissed off Jimmy Dore fans, okay? Like, in, in fact, let's take a look at some of these comments, okay? Let's take a look at some of these comments. Jimmy... <laughs> Oh, who's that? That's me. Jimmy has lost his goddamn mind. Listen, it's true, okay? He has. Like I just said, he he's the only reason he's not going to apologize to Anna is out of spite, okay? He's he holds a lot of resentment for them not um supporting um force the vote. Prove me wrong on that. It's true. You know it's true. Uh, this shit is beyond annoying and interesting at the same time. I, I like that is literally how I feel. It's annoying seeing the leftist infighting, but it's interesting, okay? Like even I have my popcorn, but I'm not jerking off to this like these magatards. Um See the thing is that's exactly what TYT did, and you're representing it as Jimmy was the original attacker on the front. Listen, even if you want to say that TYT started this T J like Jimmy, he definitely attacked Anna. Okay, he called. He said she was blackmailing him. When, uh, uh, if you really call that blackmailing, it just looked like Anna was revealing something <laughs> personal. <laughs> I mean, like it, like there were similarities in how she spoke to blackmailing. But no, like if we all know the secret, then it's not a well kept secret. So it's not blackmailing. Okay, the amount of flip-flopping Kyle does in this video is insane. LOL, he needs to turn on the lights and the lights on his basement and do some push-ups to man up. Well, you can um suck this big black dick um and leave Kyle the fuck alone because 
how he has more balls than any man because he admitted that he was wrong, unlike that bitch made. I'm sorry, you know what? I'm not going to call Jimmy bitch made. No, fuck it. I am going to call Jimmy bitch made, unlike that bitch made nigga Jimmy Dore, who did not admit when he was wrong when he harassed Anna Kasparian, knowing that that is not appropriate conduct in a work environment in front of Anna's student. So I hear here. Like, listen, even if TYT lies, they are still human beings. It is important to see the good in people. And Jimmy does not do that. He's he's filled with so much spite that they didn't support Force the Vote, that they slandered Aaron Mate, that they've done all these bad things. He just cannot forgive and he cannot be the bigger person and apologize, okay? That's the problem with being filled with so much hate, okay? Let's read some of these other comments. Um, you know he's going to do a video basically saying, yeah, I wouldn't mind that question at all. You and Crystal just ignored yourselves of the interview. We can all see it. <sighs> Let me read. No, no, no. Visible Glenn Greenwald did a good... TYT probably wishes they could take back their past, but it was effing hilarious. Just say fucking. I say fucking on the comments on this. And I think they censored them. Kyle doesn't get it, or is he trying to spin it, saying you failed to cancel a book guest till two hours after is total BS, as are many of his points. None of his points are BS, because guess what? He's not making any points. He's just simply admitting he was wrong on some things and saying how maybe you misinterpreted it, okay? This is not an actual debate on anything. This is... This is Kyle clearing things up by what he meant, okay? I think Kyle can be trusted in what he meant. He doesn't seem disingenuous. Jimmy had a relationship with Mike Cernovich. I'd get Kyle point, but he doesn't. Jimmy is rightfully calling you out because you aren't being honest nor real about your involvement, your support for TYT's BS. By minimizing, deflecting, and otherwise denying what is really happening here, disgraceful most... You know what? All of you guys can shut the fuck up. Kyle, if Jimmy is your friend, why don't you just call him up and clear it all up? He is clearing this all up, okay? Like, Jimmy wanted to make this a whole war. Like, Jimmy wanted to start all this bullshit, and he got it, okay? They, like I said, why couldn't they just call them up, clear this up somewhere else, okay? But no. So Kyle is just clearing this up right here and now in front of everybody, okay? And he's clearing it up in front of everybody so everybody is clear on the whole situation. Keep talking, Kyle. Pretzel logic takes the time. Shut the fuck up. And usually I should be hiding their identities, but I don't give a fuck, okay? I really don't. I still can't get over you throwing your reputation in the toilet for TYT of all things. He's not defending TYT, okay? Like, he's just, de he's defending Anna Kasparian, who was sexually harassed by Jimmy Dore, okay? He's not defending TYT as a whole, okay? I'm sure if Kyle looked at the, some of the shit that they do, how it's a lie, just like Fox, he would not support them. Kyle has a brain. I trust his brain, Okay? I still can't get over you throwing your... Oh, no, I already read this. Jimmy, I know Anna tried to blackmail you, if you call it that. That was wrong of her, but you should have taken her feelings into consideration while defending yourself. I agree. I absolutely do agree. I literally learned the expression pearl clutcher from you, so it pains me so much to see you getting so angry about the word being dressed inappropriately instead of getting angry at the blackmail or smears of Assange and Mate. You know what? Get over Assange. Get over Mate. Okay? We're not talking about them. We are simply talking about Kyle, Jimmy, and T... And, well, that's it. I know this is Kyle, Jimmy, and TYT, but this right now, we're to Kyle is responding to Jimmy. Okay? I don't buy Kyle's reasoning for not having Jimmy on the show. This, I didn't want to ask him a tough question. BS is a cop-out. <sighs> First of all, I feel like you guys are asking for way too much. Like, Jimmy and, I mean, Kyle, it was brave enough for Kyle to even come out here. 
Like, <laughs> and I know that's stupid saying, but it's true. Um, he didn't even want to make this goddamn video. Like, do you know how much mental toughness it took for him to make this video? And guess what? If I was in Kyle's position, I would want to save myself the fucking headache and just not make this goddamn video. Okay? To not get into this whole thing. But he did it anyway. And that takes balls. And that's why he has balls. Which is why the one over there on the top... Telling him to do push-ups and be a man needs to shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. Um, Kyle stepped back a bit in a tone. What I would like him and others to understand is that McCarthyite smears are different and need to be met head on from now. If we are going to make any progress against the forever war and, and imperialism in general, um, I disagree. Actually, oh, fuck, I don't know. I don't know what they mean by McCarthy. I know what they mean by McCarthyite smears, but I don't know what they mean by imperialism. Um, we were recording on the show now. Nah, that's interesting. I don't want to get involved in this. Please don't make me tell the truth about Anna and Sink. That's not why he doesn't want to get involved. He doesn't want to get involved because in this world that in this time we live in, when you get involved in shit like this, you're creating drama. You're creating controversy. He is simply not trying to create controversy. Okay? And maybe, and you know what? Maybe that's a reason he hasn't talked about Sank and Anna and TYT. We, because he doesn't want to create, what's the word again, kids? Controversy. He doesn't want that smoke, basically. Okay? He don't want that smoke. And listen, what's wrong with wanting to live a peaceful life, okay? Like, uh, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not like that, okay? I'm not like that. If I want to make smoke, I'm going to make smoke. Like I said, I am a soldier when it comes to politics. I am a conqueror, a general, whatever you want. Like, I believe that we are at war, okay? I believe in scorched earth tactics. I believe in... Sabotage, nah, not sabotage, let's not go that far, like, within reason, <laughs> okay, and Jimmy is a, is a soldier when it comes to politics too, Kyle is not, uh, okay, Kyle is not, he's not that much of a soldier, if anything, Kyle is a ambassador, if you will, okay, that's why he needs to be protected at all costs, Kyle just wants everything to be alright, like, he keeps things a bit lighthearted with his show, like, he, he has facts about um, the economy, about, uh, and he only covers, and he's been working on stop covering culture war issues because we're trying to be better than the right wing, but um, he covers some culture war issues, like when Candace Owens got owned by Ken Klippenstein, um, or uh, when, uh, what happened, he, he covers culture war issues. If this was Ben Shapiro, is that the is that the um the Wakanda flag? If this was Ben Shapiro instead of Anna, we all know what Kyle would be saying and doing that he said that says enough. Is this a right winger? Hold on. Hold on. Breaking points. Uh let's see. Status quo. Okay, maybe he's not a right winger. I I you say I love status quo as well. They definitely expose all the racism within Amazon. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, please check out their channel. Find out for yourself. Um, but yeah. And Louisville, Kentucky. We already know the answer to the question of how Jimmy felt about the joke he made. He told everyone he felt horrible and apologized immediately and went as far as to give Anna an apology card the next day. She then accepted that apology, said, don't worry about it, and went on being friends and bringing him on the show for years afterwards. She then thought it up seven or eight years later to try to blackmail him. First of all, it's not blackmail if... It's not fucking blackmail if we... If Jimmy showed it on his show, showed the tweet, like, a few seconds later. Like... <laughs> That's not blackmail. She tried to try to blackmail him. How is this any of this confusing? Okay. So, <coughs> I, and if I didn't clarify that that's what happened, yes, Jimmy did write an apology letter then. 
But my thing is, <clears throat> like I said, for the sake of being the bigger person, you know what? Let's say they're trying to blackmail you. Let's say they're trying to play dirty. For the sake of being the bigger, better, <coughs> for the sake of being the better person, bigger person, he should have um, apologized for them for that, like publicly in front of everybody. But he he didn't do that. He did not apologize because he's spiteful because they didn't for because you know they they lie and all this shit. He's always calling TYT out. Uh, and they didn't fight for force the vote. He even debated Sank Uger. Uh, I keep I'm forgive me enough if I say Sank Uruguay. I always pronounce that incorrectly, but it's Sank Chank Uger. Um, he debated Chank Uger on um, force the vote, if you would call it that. It was more of a back and forth on Twitter, but um, yeah, if he was the bigger person, he would say to all of his like Magatard audience. Like, I'm sorry I did that to Anna years ago. Okay? And maybe he did do this somewhat, but I'm saying, like, he could have been clearer with how he, did, like, executed it. But um, my theory is the reason he's not giving TYT, I mean, by, not TYT, Anna, any sort of, uh, what's the word? Not fervor, uh... Um, the benefit of the doubt, he's not giving the benefit of the doubt to Anna is because of the spite he has that they didn't support force, force the vote. But um, I'm done reading these comments as some of them are going to, you lost me here, Kyle. You're all over the place. If you're straight up here, call it straight and stop tap, stop dancing around being com uncomfortable because you are. You are the one defending Anna and saying you would punch someone for saying what Jimmy said. First, oh, wow, this nigga, you kept that out, so keep it straight, bottom line, you owe him an apology, let's move on. He doesn't owe Jimmy shit, shut the fuck up, okay? He does not owe Jimmy shit. I would punch somebody, if Anna was my fucking sister, and Jimmy said exactly what he said, I would beat the shit out of Jimmy on the spot, okay? In front of, and Anna had her students in there, so he did that in front of her students, if I was one of her students and somebody said that about my favorite teacher, I would beat the shit out of Jimmy on the spot, okay? And guess what? I'm black. I'm going to get arrested for it. But I would still do it, okay? Because you have to know that that's not okay. And the fact that Jimmy, that Kyle is saying this is really, like, I respect Kyle for this. Really, I do. Because he defended Anna. And like I said, Kyle has a brain. And if he saw TYT, Sank, and Anna, he would not agree with them. But guess what? He would still defend Anna the, and her right not to be called that way. What does this comment say? This comment makes me so fucking angry. Um, stop dancing around it. He's not dancing around it. In fact, he's being rather brave by even making this goddamn video. As if I made this goddamn video, I would literally... It would... Like, you remember... I don't... The um in the CRT debate with Gothics, after that Gothics in the after party. I, God, I wish I recorded the after party, but um, no. Nah, but I was too tired. I just went and played uh, you know, played video games while listening to that after party. But um, Gothics and them, they said they felt drained from that debate, despite him explaining it to you multiple times and shit like that, multiple times, like. He defined it multiple times, but it wasn't what she wanted to hear. It wasn't malice. Like, it wasn't, oh, CRT is a malice indoctrination plot. Oh, CRT is oh, anti-white um, rhetoric. It wasn't what she wanted to hear. So, yeah, that's why she said he didn't define it. Okay. But um, she said she felt drained after that debate. They said they felt drained. That's the same thing this is. It's draining doing this. So he's not dancing around it. He's actually being way braver than TYT. Because TYT, they did what I said he shouldn't do. They let it fester for a long time. And I'm not defending TYT. Fuck TYT. Okay? They lie too much. But they finally um, confronted Jimmy in that video that I reacted to. Okay? Um, 
So I'm glad that he's doing this now before it becomes a problem, okay? Oh my God, I can't wait. What if Vosh ends up on Jimmy Dore's radar? That is going to be the end. I pray that doesn't happen because that's the that's the boiling point that I, like that Vosh on Jimmy Dore's radar. Like what if jo Va um, Jimmy Dore made the same video? So you see Jimmy Dore, Kyle Kalinske omits Anna Kasparian's blackmail of Jimmy Dore. So uh, we'll get back to secular uh, to Kyle's video in a sec. Uh, but um, let's go to Jimmy. Let's go to Jimmy. At Liberty University, we understand life can be unpredictable. And when you need a resilience... Life is incredibly unpredictable. Just look at this shit here that we're dealing with. So, um, what if Vosh showed up on, like, my God. And Vosh, the thing about Vosh is he's incredibly confrontational. He will respond to people who make something about him. Like, shit, he's about to respond to PSA, PSA Stitch and Adam Friended. And I hope he does. Like, if you look at one of my videos... Vosh wants to talk to Stitch and Adam. Listen, I'm I'm the being, I'm instigating. Okay, I instigate shit. When um Tree of Logic wanted Treehouse News, uh, as she's called now, she got a new channel by the way. Keep an eye on it. Um, when Treehouse News called out Carolyn Borsanko, I was the first one to send that link to Carolyn. Okay, and. I, you know what, till this day, and Carolyn said she challenged um, Tree to get receipts on when, I, when she said that uh, anybody who's, when she called everybody white supremacists, um, and uh, Tree, she's working on another video exposing Carolyn. Can't wait for that. I will definitely be reacting to that. So, yeah, watch out, because I'm going to be reacting to that. But, um, yeah. I instigate things, but my theory is that, was it me? Like, maybe my link is what caused Carolyn to respond to Treehouse News, if you would call it respond. Anyway, um, Tree, she called her a coward in one of her live streams and said she doesn't respect cowards because Tree is a soldier when it comes to politics as well. Like, so many soldiers on the right and the left. But, um, yeah, I made a video, Vosh wants to talk to Stitch and Adam. I really hoped it would get way more views because I want to see that and I will re react to that. And, and Stitch and Adam streams, they're so fucking long. So I may react to it from Vosh's side, hoping that it will be short, shorter. Because they stream all the way to like 1 p.m. I think 2 p.m. But um, let's get to the Jimmy side. We'll, we'll get back to the Kyle Kalinske side of the video. But this is... um. Oh, yes. As you see, I'm the one of the people that dislike this. I am. Because fuck Jimmy, okay? Like, Kyle, you guys pretty much agree on the same things. And the only reason you're apologizing to this is because Kyle rightfully, and Kyle is a total chat for this, he rightfully said that if you said that um, to Anna, he would punch you in the face, and as he should, because that was stupid as shit. But you can't admit that you're wrong. And I will say that you admitted you were wrong then, but you can't even admit that you're wrong in front of your own audience because you'll look like too much of a punk. When um, And that's the problem with right-wingers, okay? They're, they are incredibly obsessed with image and looking a certain way, especially some of these right-wing men. Again, not gonna... Again, you can do whatever you want, not gonna, like hinder you guys wanting to always be the big man and that's large in charge vice versa so, look at uh, i'm being so incoherent now let me just shut up today uh we're, we're going to be addressing of course and hopefully this will be the last time we have to address this right yes so, oh my god like that gives me hope that this will just end nah no it won't no it won't why? Because didn't didn't he make this video before Kyle's video? So this video, I think, is before. Let me see. This video was published until July 2nd. Um, uh, Kyle's video. Let's see Kyle's video. Where's Kyle's video? Fuck. Oh, here's Kyle's video. Kyle's video was published... 
<laughs> All right, let's see. Shit, hold on. I hate these stupid commercials. A reimagined experience for the biggest meetings. Drive viewership. Problem. July fourth. So yes, this is the um, Jimmy's video takes place before Kyle's video. So uh, I think it is. I There's think Aaron Mate. You probably um, know him from the thumbnail of when I said Anna Kasparian goes in on Aaron Aaron Mate. <laughs> My God, fuck Aaron Mate. Yeah, fuck you. That video literally caused my mom, the beast that she is, always swearing in African and, and Wolof, um, to clutch her pearls. Like, and the, and she's going to go back, it's, and it's so hypocritical. She's going to go and say that ladies aren't supposed to curse. Well, what about you, mom? You a lady. You curse all the time when we live together, when I live with y'all. Addressing it because it's super important. Uh, and so I want to break it down. Kyle Polinsky um, covered this topic, uh, the topic of the Young Turks doing McCarthy smears to Julian Assange, Aaron Mate, uh, and me. And uh huh. They called me a Nazi. They did? <laughs> I'm a Nazi. Said I'm a right winger, said I'm, uh, you know, all this kind of stuff. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Anna weaponized a personal incident from years ago, and they did a, faux, a fa false... Uh, a Look at Jimmy. Uh, he got cross-eyed right now. ...which fell flat because everyone knew it was a chance. It was, an op it was her trying to deflect from being criticized for her McCarthy smears of Aaron Mate. Okay, okay, so, um, you know what? Listen, even if... So, like I said, if... Even if it was for blackmail purposes or for dirty politics purposes, which, listen, no comment on that because we have to give everybody benefit of the doubt here. Let's not accuse. No, no. Okay. I know that. Okay. I'm, I'm a hypocrite because I did accuse Jimmy of the only reason he doesn't want to man up or be the bigger person and apologize is because. He, um, he's spiteful that they didn't support Voice the Vote. That's by alarm. But, um, no comment on that. But like I said, I'm not defending TYT or anything like that. But, um, like, let's say they did this for dirty politics reasons, for blackmail reasons. Even then, you still could have been the bigger person and say you regret those actions. And then go back to criticizing them because they are not above criticism. Like, <laughs> I don't think Anna, even if it was an attempt from Anna to deflect, she that does not that's not gonna work. Like you're still gonna talk about them no matter what. Okay? People will still criticize them no matter what. Like just because you went through some shit, that doesn't mean you're exempt from your actions. And that's and you know what, take that to heart, black community, okay? Just because there are traumas that we still face today and that we have faced, that generational trauma, that does not mean you are exempt from not being a good person. That does not mean you are exempt from... And you know what? There are, a lot of people, they'll say the black community has a victim mentality problem. And no, not really. Most black people work. Most black people pay taxes. Most black people contribute to society. They're not just wallowing in laziness and sitting in a corner to die somewhere, okay? And that's not a controversial statement. It's the truth. Like, they still make the, feed the capitalist machine. But, um, yeah. Just because we are, we face traumas in the past and we face traumas today, that does not mean you get to act like a complete ass or you exempt, you are ex exempt from criticism. And this also goes back to that Tariq Nasheed video I made. Tariq Nasheed is evil when he made fun of that white holiday in worker. Just because black people face the traumas, um, and Tariq Nasheed is a bitch, but um, just because black people face traumas in the past and they face traumas today, that does not mean we get to be racist towards the white people or we're exempt from criticisms, like criticisms of black on black crime, okay? Or criticisms on the Asian crimes that we commit. Like, we, bad things can happen to us, but, or happen to a person who's a member of our community, but that does not mean we are, we can deflect from criticism. 
Same thing with Anna. Anna may have had something bad happen to her, but that does not exempt her from any criticism on the lies that TYT has spread. But let's get back. That's what she told me in her DM to me. So let's go over it. So let's go over it. So I just want to break it down. And to be honest, Kyle said a lot of things in there that I was appreciative of him saying. Good. So that was very nice of him. He said things like, of course, Love Jimmy's it. not a right winger. Jimmy's not a grifter. Jimmy is a guy who's on the left and, and it criticizes the Democrats from the left. So, so that was super helpful that he said all that. And I also, you know, I think yesterday I said it too on the show that I was super grateful to Kyle for his support of force the vote he was the most eloquent yeah we already defense. saw this let's um skip ahead so i'm going to show you what happened he was talking about why he didn't want to have people on the show we're not going to have anybody on the show well what happened was they booked me like a month earlier right so i like on june 1st i was texting with crystal and i said uh, looking for, she asked me to tweet out their new show she was like hey could you help promote our new show and i said done i did it i helped promote their new show and she says, I said, looking forward to Kyle KKF. Kyle has not floated any dates to me yet. And she said, all right, I'll bug him and thank you. You've always been so good to us and I am truly grateful. And so you heard Kyle also refer to me on the Joe Rogan uh, clip as his good friend. So the way they treated me after this was not like a, you would treat a friend or even an enemy. The way they treated me was unbelievably rude and unprofessional to the extreme. So you see that I have a date book. So she gives me the date I picked June 24th. So when June 44th comes around, I'm ready to go do this show. And uh, I realize I haven't been, they haven't given me a link. They haven't nothing. There's no text reminding me, no nothing. So at, at, we're supposed to go at 10 a.m. And at 5 to 10, I texted them both saying, hey, I have this on my calendar today. Is it, are we still doing it? And they ghosted me. So they decided not to have me on the show and they didn't tell me. They didn't send me an email the day ahead of time or even the day or whatever. Nothing. And they didn't respond to my text when I sent it to them. They just ghosted me. And then about two and a half hours later uh, in the afternoon, so I was supposed to do it at 10 a.m. around 1230, they sent me a text. And here's the text, okay? And the reason why I bring this up is because Kyle brought it up. So now that's why I'm bringing this up. So I'm going to tell you. So uh, I, here's my text. Are we doing a show today? My calendar says we are. And Kyle says, hey, Jimmy. So again, that's again, at two and a half, two hours later, two and a half hours later, after they ghosted me, he says, hey, Jimmy, we are trying to stay as far away from the war between you and Aaron and TYT as possible. On the policy, we agree much more with you. Russia, Syria, force the vote, etc. We're disturbed by Anna's attacks on Aaron, but we also didn't like the way you talked about Anna's dress. Okay, so you see that right there? That's, that's the, so obviously that's proof of what I said uh, just a few seconds earlier, that um, even though Anna had bad things happen to her, she is not exempt from criticism. So you see right there, he said, um, we agree much more with you, Russia, Syria, uh, FTV, etc. <sighs> we were disturbed by Anna's attacks on Aaron, but we also didn't like the way you talked about Anna's dress. So you see, they criticized the Anna first, but they said Jimmy, but that, that was not good. Like, you definitely need to make up for that. Look at what? Jimmy's face. <laughs> the F and F just say fuck. Are you kidding me? That's my good friend? Making a false equivalency? Validating a, a, a complete, transparently bullshit attack? Yes. First of all, validate. Like, did you or did you not make fun of her dress? Like, what? Like, I believe Anna. I don't know why she would make that up. And Anna said she had her, she had her students in there. Like, could, like, we could definitely arrange for those students that she had up in there to describe that. <laughs> Would, like, is he saying that he didn't do it? Like, I don't think so. And is Anna your executive? Is Anna the executive in this situation? Yes, she's, she's the executive in the situation. Huh. Uh, as friends of you and Jake and Anna, we're pressing pause 
on having anyone involved on the show. We're sorry, Jimmy. Hope you understand. So they didn't press pause, though. They didn't. So it would they could have just stopped there. Hey, Jimmy, we are trying to stay as far away from the business as possible. They could have just stopped there. They didn't. They had to keep going. And it got insulting. And so uh, it was already insulting because they ghosted me and they didn't t they didn't give me a heads up that they had decided to cancel me until after the we were supposed to do it. Super rude and unprofessional. But that's okay. First of all, uh, did um, so I sent them a text did Kyle back. talk about that? Did Kyle talk about that? Because that is kind of rude. You can't just like talk like tell somebody you want them to be on the show and then just dip. Like what? That is rude. I agree with Jimmy on that, if they did that, but maybe Kyle apologized. There it is, but I'll read it to you. I said, I'm stunned by this. You are trying to draw a ridiculous false equivalency that ultimately takes the sides of a blackmailing and smearing of me and a McCarthyite smear of Aaron. The way I talked about Anna's dress amounted to me saying nice news skirt. I told this joke at a time when Anna and Jake were doing segments such as mocking Britney Spears' old cooch in their effort to be <laughs> on the Howard Stern show. First of all, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Speaking of Britney Spears, let me tell you something. Um, and you know what? I don't know if there's going to be a video on that because I kind of care. And like I said, I only make videos about shit I care about. I'm not here for clout. There are many things happening on the left that um, I'm interested in, like that are interesting, but I don't really care enough to make a video. Like I care to a certain degree, just not enough to make a video. But yeah. I definitely care about that whole thing because Jamie Lynn Spears, Zoe from Zoe 101, she made a whole video, you know, talking about this whole shit. And I'm and do not believe a single word she says. She's a fucking liar. And I'll tell you why. Because for 13 years, 13 years, the unlucky number, she did absolutely nothing while Britney was in that conservatorship, was, was on that conservatorship. Nothing. And Britney Spears, she def she definitely said how her family just left her, uh, like, did absolutely nothing. And she was actually benefiting from that conservatorship. I might make a video re reacting to that fake-ass apology. And guess what? Did you know that um, the guy that reacts to, like, body language, he made a video on that, too. How Jamie, like, Jamie Lynn was full of shit. Like... Ooh, for 13 years, you did nothing. Well, Britney was suffering. Yeah, 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's the real Jamie Lynn Spears. Your sister Britney was crying tears. Well, you just did nothing. Yeah, yeah. If you wanna grip, come and grip with this bitch named Jamie Lynn Spears. Yeah. <laughs> I told this joke at a time when Anna and Jake were doing segments such as mocking Britney Spears' old cooch in their effort to become the Howard Stern Show. And the way I responded to Anna's embarrassment at my joke was to apologize and send her a card immediately without a pressure campaign or threat of a blackmail, as a friend would do. You are somehow trying to draw an equivalency between that incident seven years ago and what Anna and Jake are doing now. This includes refusing to apologize for smearing Aaron for doing anything. Okay, so I know I'm going to play devil's advocate when it comes to TYT and say that maybe uh, she was just, she brung this up. But at the same time, why the fuck would she bring this up out of nowhere now of all times? Like, like there's definitely some cause, I mean, speculation that this is dirty politics and that Anna is just bringing this up as a smokescreen to distract from... Um, her criticisms, even though I don't see how that is, because just because you bring up something bad that happened to you, that doesn't mean that you're exempt from criticism. Like Joe Biden. Joe Biden, sadly, he lost his wife and his baby in a car crash. But does that mean he's not exempt from the crime bill that he did that incarcerated many black men? No. Like, he's still responsible for his actions. His past actions, too. 
way before that car accident. It's the same thing. No matter how bad something has happened to you, you are responsible for your action. Now, depending on the situation, like maybe you've just been through so much and with the trauma, maybe that's why you committed those actions and maybe they shouldn't be held against you given the circumstances. This is not the case. Anna has been fine after that. I, I don't think it was that much of an incident that... And you know what? I don't even know. Maybe it was. Maybe this has affected Anna. Maybe she's traumatized from this incident. But then again, Anna has been doing fine. Like, I which should hope she moved on from that incident. Like, she she's a part of TYT, who apparently... And this is a theory that they've accepted money from people looks like tyt has been being been naughty like i said that they accepted some money from some i don't know some interest groups if you will from donors that want them to say certain things <laughs> shit is this video gonna be demonetized because of that oh, how many times did i curse and it's probably gonna be demonetized anyhow but um so, yeah. He wore in factual journalism, and then facing embarrassment over it, trying to blackmail me and then smearing me with an insane claim of sexual harassment. This is hugely toxic to the progressive movement and to the cause <laughs> of Me Too. It is clearly the only reason Anna and Jake are doing this is to deflect from the flack they took for smearing Aaron. They're exploiting and cheapening a very serious issue. And he's validating it. Now you claim that you want to stay away from the war? Okay. You know what? What I will say about Jimmy. Jimmy's no right winger. But, um. Hold on. What is Majority Report saying? Sam Cedar saying about this. You know Sam Cedar. <laughs> Crowder ran from him like a bitch. Like, first of all. If the conserv if conservatism is so damn good. Like, then you would have no problem um, defending it. Let's see. Um, no, he's not talking about this. What the fuck? Capital Rioters hilarious claim. I was filming a documentary. I actually believe that. Like, there were tons of cameras that they literally recorded themselves doing all that shit. <laughs> and it's so funny. Like they were like and then they try to say Antifa did it. And I'm like, it's so funny. It's like an episode of South Park that they recorded themselves doing all of this shit. Because they didn't think it was that bad. And then they're going to go off and say, oh, but that was Antifa. And to be fair, not all of them said Antifa did it. It was just a few. <laughs> it was just a few. Fuck. But um, back to this. I always get so goddamn distracted. Um, I was uh, going off to see if um, Sam Cedar made a video on that. Because he's always making a video on um, Jimmy Dore. Uh, he will. And when he does, I'll put a link in the description. So look out for that link. Um, but um, Jimmy, he, Jimmy's not a right winger, but he's not as PC as everybody else. Okay, he isn't. He does not like. He has some tendencies that are not on the left, and the left are a bit PC. Like we need to be less PC. Like there are moments where we can enjoy some adult humor. Like be. Like, edgy jokes, as Vosh would say. But, um, yeah. We're still very PC. And that's just by nature. That's who I am. That's who the left are. We're PC by choice. We're not PC because we're scared of talking about something. We are PC because we just generally like precision of language. And even myself, I'm not even that PC, okay? Like, I'll make jokes about women. I'll make jokes about gays. I'll make jokes about Jews. <laughs> but, and frankly, it's because I have black privilege, okay? Like I said, white privilege exists, but so the, every other race has a privilege, okay? It's undeniable. They're, like, societal privileges. I don't mean any biological privileges. We're all the same, okay? Societal privileges, like the fact that black people can make more edgier jokes and we can get away with it. That's my privilege. But yeah, and frankly, that I hope that we live in an equal society where that's no longer the case. Okay, really.
And that's why I'm not a fan of the black community, because the black community is incredibly conservative. But, look, you know what, let me stay on topic, because that's a video for another day. Anyway, Jimmy Dore, he's not PC, and it's funny because all of these, like, like people who he thought were his friends, and I, they are his friends, don't get me wrong, but they just uh, disagree with how he um, talked to Anna. They're saying, okay, Jimmy, I think a, a second apology is warranted. <laughs> and he's just lost his goddamn line, mind. Like, look at him. Look at that look. He's, he's about to start yelling like he did with the Force the Vote debate. He was like, oh, boo, you fucking egghead nerd. Nobody fucking heard her for a committee. Why don't you stop saying that stupid shit? <laughs> it was almost as big as Brent, as Officer Tantrum. Like, you know who I'm talking about when he, when Officer Tantrum was all like, you want to be hood? You want to be hood, nigga? Uh, politics is fun. It is. It's not a war. It is. It's a pro-war smear campaign against me and Aaron by, and by pressing pause on it, you're taking the sides of the smear artists. You're signaling that their behavior is acceptable to you. And it doesn't matter who is friends with you. You know, another thing I hate about this leftist infighting is that we're literally talking about human rights violations, a war going on in Syria, and all you can focus on is, like, uh, goddamn TYT and shit like that. Like, can we focus on what's important? So, can we, please? It's your right to be friends like, with This is all started design. over the smearing of Assange, Aaron Mate, and Syria. So my thing is, this whole drama is being over, is overshadowing the Syria thing, which I think is way more important. And Biden, his bitch ass bombed Syria. I hope you, I hope you know that. Okay, he bombed Syria. He bombed brown people. Oh my God. If Trump did the same thing, we would never hear the end of it. That's the truth. I'm not defending Trump. Fuck him. Like, he's cringe, but yeah. So let's hold Biden to the same account. Because Biden is a conservative just like Trump. You did. You replaced Trump with another conservative. Like, you guys did that. May God have mercy on your souls. ...and McCarthyite pro-war smear artists. The question is whether that kind of behavior is acceptable to the progressive left or not. Rest assured that if anyone tried to do such an awful thing to you, I wouldn't be pressing pause to avoid it. I'd be speaking out against Hold it. on, who said that? Who said that? Tried to do such who a said this? war movement and to the embarrassment over it. God, this is long. See that ultimately... I'll handle it. So I sent them a text back, and here it is, but I'll read it to you. I oh, so that's then, him? That's that's Jimmy? That is hardly... Hold on. Whoa, whoa, what? The question is whether that kind of behavior is acceptable to the progressive left or not. First it shouldn't, that and that's another thing to... of, about the left, okay? We need a gatekeep, okay? We need to gatekeep because guess what? The left, we're already, we're already like, we're like nomads. We're always prone to constant change. Okay, so, but we need to gatekeep those people. So that way, there aren't new people that we have to change in a different way. We need to gatekeep the people that are already leaning the way we lean. Okay? Such an awful thing to you, I wouldn't be pressing pause to avoid it. I'd be speaking out against it. Like I did for my with my friend Aaron Mate. So no, I can't possibly understand what you're doing here. I'm appalled. So now Kyle went on to do a segment with Jen Uger's nephew instead of me. That's Oh that Hassan. <laughs> staying out of it. And he let then and and the subject of course came up, and here's how they covered it. They just stay out of like all the fucking uh, Jimmy Dore drama or whatever the fuck's going on at any given moment. Like people will always come in and they're like, "Dude, what do you think about this?" I'm like, "No, no." Yeah, I not. feel the same way. I feel the same way. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Like you see what they're doing? They are staying out of it because they don't want to cause a 
what was the word again, kids? A controversy. Like, they don't want to cause any drama. And I agree. Really, I do. Like, and this is, uh, this is some adult behavior that I like to see on the left. I, I, look, we are I all would much rather, there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would much rather talk about, you know, um, like, literally using a pocket pussy than, than that. <laughs> Which I do. I talk about a variety of different things. I just don't think that, like... They, uh, it's just it's just hilarious that they're all laughing. Oh, good thing he didn't say nice. nice news. Anyway, so they they're la so they're laughing off. They're they're framing it as Jimmy Dore drama, which is unbelievably disingenuous and a disservice to what's happening. And it's a dishonest framing by news people who should know better, and they do know better. Because what does he mean them. by? What does he mean by news people? Does he mean like mainstream media? Like CNN? Could he be more clear? Because they're doing that. I already sent them that text. They already know this. <laughs> Everything I wrote in that text, Kyle knows this. And so for Kyle to then go on and do a segment where he fails to mention Anna Blackman. Well, here, we'll get to it. You want to you want to respond well, to that? Yeah, answer? listen, so that clip, so that clip right there, when I saw that, that to me opens up, uh, uh, w with that clip, I think that they invited themselves up to criticism. People are wondering why we're talking about this now. That's right. That clip right there was basically belittling, I think. That, that's yes. why I took it, the concerns that we have. Because yes. it's one thing if you want to decide, look, I don't okay, want to comment so, on this issue. No, I don't think they meant to, okay, so, yeah, oh, this is so complicated. Let me explain it. I don't think it was so much belittling. Like belittling is such a belittling is such a strong word. I think they were just trying to not talk about it because they knew it would create some sort of drama as this is a like podcast type thing. This was like a show that people many eyes are watching, many ears are listening, that many people are commenting on. And in this in today's age of Twitter drama and just drama in general, they just didn't want to create anything. Like, it's not that they were belittling those concerns. It's that they were just saying, like, yeah, let's not talk about this before we start something. Like, but yeah. He says belittling concerns. I disagree. Talking about this now. That's right. That clip right there was basically belittling, I think. That, that's yes. why I took it. The concerns that we have. Because... Yes. It's one thing if you want to decide, look, I don't want to comment on an issue. You don't have to comment on an issue. No, no one's going to force you. I personally was disappointed that people like them stayed silent. If they had been smeared like that, I, I think I can confidently say that I would have spoken up. Because uh, I don't think that kind of... Okay, so you don't know that, though, okay? Sometimes when people get smeared, you know what the best thing to do when you get smeared is? It's to say nothing and shut the fuck up. That's it. Ignore them. Like, ignore them. Like, don't dignify their smears. Okay? Like, unless somebody personally addresses and say, Hey, so-and-so, is this true? Did you do this? Then you should talk about it with... Then you should at least talk about it or say, No, nah, that's not true. But as long as it doesn't reach you, ignore it. Okay? It's a smear for a reason because they're trying... They're, they want smoke, okay? And I, I won't do that. Like, if you want smoke, I'll give you smoke. I'm not no bitch, okay? But, yeah. I ignore it. But at the same time, if I don't attack you, it, you're lucky, okay? <laughs> if I don't attack you, it's because I'm basically saying I'm just too tired. I don't have the mental toughness to do... Well, not the mental toughness, but... I don't have the brain capacity. Like, I don't want to lose any brain cells dealing with you. So, I'm just going to ignore you. But if I, re if I have the energy, the brain cells, to, do, to deal with you, I will deal with you. And you will regret it. I'm a soldier. Smearing should be tolerated. But whatever. You, you, you can't demand that someone speak, out, speak, uh, speak up for you. Okay, but... To say, if they just said, you know what, we don't want to talk about this, period. 
But then they don't just say that. Then they try to justify it by doing two things. One is they draw, as you, as you told them, this false equivalency between a joke you made seven years ago and you apologize for and what they did, which is start, which is smearing me and then trying to blackmail you uh -huh. with, this, with this ridiculous sexual harassment claim. Okay, There's no equivalency between that. And that's why, as you said, it's not a war. It's a smear campaign. I am getting so triggered. Like... <laughs> And then going publicly and actually commenting on it by basically belittling the whole thing and dismissing it as Jimmy Dore drama. Okay, so the only reason I'm letting Aaron speak is because I kind of feel bad that Anna, Anna said fuck him. <laughs> like, I, and I know so when somebody says fuck you, I know why is that such a big deal? But like, it, it's not like when some people they just like they just get super upset when they when. Someone, they're told fuck you okay because fuck you can be an incredibly aggressive swear and i feel bad because um they like they accuse them of, of all these sorts of things which like i said i'm not defending tyt like <laughs> anna probably should have been more mature but at the same time i'm happy because it is delicious tea like say, seeing anna caspian swear like a sailor like a racist grandma saying, fuck you, Aaron Mate. Yeah, fuck you. It's funny, okay? It's funny. But Anna should have been more mature, okay? So that's the only reason I'm going to interrupt Aaron less. But I guess I kind of contradicted that here. So let me just let him speak. But that's because I feel bad. It's not Jimmy Dore drama. It's us pushing back against the smear campaign, which we have the right to do. And if you're going to belittle us for doing that, you're basically taking the side of the smear campaign. Okay, so you have the right to push back against the smear campaign. Yes, you do. So they also have the right to push back against, well, to react and push back against you. you. Like, Kyle has the right to make a video about you. Like, just as they have the right to say all that shit they said in the first place. Does that mean I defend what they said? No. They're pieces of shit for what they said. And they're pieces of shit for what I suspect. I'm not saying they did, but I suspect they, they're doing by bringing up this drama from seven years ago. That's right. You're basically saying that, it's, that like, there's something wrong with us pushing back against it. So by default, you're actually kind of like, you're actually taking the side of it, whether that was their intention or not. So that's why I think it's fair to criticize them now and like you know you see this often like with russia gate 2 when people wanted to avoid taking a position they took this sort of like ironic uh, this like this like uh, ironic detachment thing like oh whatever i don't care about that like you know like like we comment like we we covered we did a segment recently where there's the journalist from the intercept was like i didn't cover russia gate because it was boring yes. no you didn't cover russia gate because there are career consequences for speaking out and in this case too for whatever reason, people didn't want to speak out against us being smeared, and that's their right. But don't try to justify it as if by drawing some equivalent, some fake equivalency between two sides or dismissing it as drama, because it's not drama. It's diminishing. Okay, it is drama, okay? So don't even... Like, Aaron, I feel bad for you, but this is literally drama. This is what they were trying to avoid when they were saying, oh, like, like, when they were flippantly just disregarding it, they were trying to play it off, okay? Now, the way they did that was so stupid. I do agree that they should have just said that, yeah, you know what, we're not going to talk about that. That would have been way better, and it would have, like, it would have averted all of this leftist infighting. Ugh. Like, this, all this leftist infighting is just triggering me. Like, I get triggered at things that I think are harmful to the left and the messaging of the left. I don't get triggered by, like, I don't get triggered by a lot of the same things that you guys may get triggered by. I get triggered by, like, whenever I see multiple views on a, like, right-wing video, I get, the, the, like, a, a small fire burns in me because I'm like, why are they getting this much popularity? Like, why? So, just like when I see things that are damaging to the left, I get triggered. Okay? When I see, I don't know, some Antifa member does something, and, or somebody from, uh, like some radical does something, it triggers me because I'm like, damn, is that how the left is going to be perceived? So, 
leftist, this leftist infighting, this drama, and it is drama because you honestly did not have to make a show about this. You could have even ignored everybody making those smears against you, okay? So you can, it's true, you can push back against a smear, but at the same time, you, like, you don't actually have to confront them. I encourage you to, like I said, if you don't confront them, then it's just going to fester. But you didn't, that wasn't one of the options. You could have just, like said, what they're doing is wrong. This is misinformation about Syria, about, um, or whatever they said. Was it Russiagate? But yeah. So everybody is within their rights in this situation to do what they want. But the problem is that they... <laughs> They didn't do the right thing. Like, that's the problem with everybody here in this situation. You guys didn't, well, Jimmy didn't do the right thing. Uh, Hassan, um, Crystal, Secu, uh, uh, Kyle, they didn't do the right thing. Like, they did not do what was supposed to be done in order for no drama to happen. And that's the problem. Diminishes yes. what they were doing. Yes. And uh, also to... So to, 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 to go ahead and talk about it and misframe it like that, and to do it with Jake's nephew, is you're not pressing pause, you're not staying out of it. It's <laughs> the, almost the exact opposite. Yeah. So yeah. you didn't get dragged into this. Kyle Kalinske inserted himself into this. Kyle did that. Okay. Uh, on purpose. Inserted, again, like very strong word, inserted. I think he just, at like you saw at the beginning, they... It didn't seem like they really wanted to talk about that this in the beginning. So inserted strong word. Like I think Kyle, like like you said, people have a right, a right. So and so, he Kyle had a right to respond to all of this, and I think he should was within his right. Like I wouldn't say he inserted himself into this. He was giving his opinions on the matter, just like those messages you were reading about those saying that, of like Crystal. Okay, like Crystal saying that you shouldn't have talked about a dress, about um, Anna's dress, like that mistake of where you sexually harassed her seven years ago. They are simply giving their commentary. Okay, I don't wouldn't say that they're simply inserting themselves into this. I wouldn't and say Kyle's inserting to, himself into did. this. And that's obvious. So that's why the next day on Twitter. Uh, people were saying, hey, Kyle, why don't you cover the story and the thing? And I liked a tweet, and that's what set him off to do this video. Uh-huh. Does that sound uh, like somebody that wants to insert themselves into something? Like I said, I'm, contra I'm confrontational, okay? Like, sometimes I want that smoke. I will insert myself into the shit. Kyle does not want the smoke. And that's nothing against Kyle. I'm not calling Kyle a coward. He's no coward. He's went against the likes of... Charlie Kirk and that and that bitch Michael Knowles. He is no Kyle coward by any means. Okay, but like he still chooses peace. Okay, he still wants to. Like it's like they say a small white lie, and the, this isn't him lying. But sometimes a small price to pay for peace and quiet. He just wants some peace and quiet. He likes Jimmy. You guys agree on some... Which is why this leftist infighting is so fucking stupid. Because we agree on pretty much all the same things. We need to unite against the right. Yeah, unite against the right. But yeah. So he's not trying to insert himself in any of this. He's not trying to get any smoke. Like, he was just giving his opinions on the matter. And frankly, like I said, you got... like. There are some right things that they did, like um, dismissing this, and I'm not going to say belittling, like the term belittling is a strong term, um, but that was the right thing they did. Fuck. No, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. They did the wrong thing in the sense that they could have just said that they um, didn't want to talk about it. I may have said that they did the right thing. At first, but now I agree with Aaron's point that they could have just said, we don't want to talk about this in the beginning. So, I'm sorry. I just changed. But, um... So, yeah. Like I said, everybody did a little bit wrong in this situation. But 
the wrong that Kyle did is that he could have addressed you privately and not publicly. Okay? But, um... You want to make it so serious that now he's addressing it publicly. And frankly, the fact that he's doing this when he just admitted that he doesn't have the... Like, he does not have the mental capacity to do this is brave enough. Like, doing something you really don't want to do. Um, and again, this, this also isn't drama. So this is a pattern of behavior at the Young Turks. Is they just McCarthy smear... Pattern of behavior. What do you mean by that? Winning journalists. Uh, ever since they took the twenty million dollars from Katzenberg. Oh, Katzenberg. Is, so earlier a- I said that they took money from donors. The I guess yeah, that's who they took it from, and that's yeah, that's part of the reason TYT is so goddamn corrupt and they lie a lot. It's because they've taken money from people who want them to say certain things. A abrupt change. And. I'll show you it. Here it is. This is not drama. Uh, you know, the way that Assange seems to be backing Donald Trump uh, over and over and over again, uh, it it makes me very seriously question Assange, Assange. Oh, so Assange, you know, Julian Assange, he's a prisoner and shit like that. Mm, maybe a video because I kind of care about it. If I get more information and I decide that I care about it, then I'll make a video about it one day. But um, I don't. Basically, I just don't have enough information on the, on um this to, to come to a conclusion or to come to a view about the whole Assange thing. Like I don't know if he deserves it or not. But I I need to do my own research of the my own like I need to critically think, think critically about this. Just efforts to actually be a journalist and not to be a partisan. And I get it. I get why he hates the Democrats. They're trying to put him in prison. Okay. <laughs> but, but at the same time, yeah. there are Republicans. Let's be clear about and that. And now the Republicans are too. And they have been in the past. But it seems like a... See, see, like I said, these people, like the Democrats and the Republicans are no different. They really aren't. They believe in pretty much most of the same things. Majority of them. Majority of them. Not all. But they are pretty much the same thing. I just picked a side. And, and, and look, it makes me question uh, his reporting. And so, and, and so that's the situation we're in now. Uh, so now is he just leaking things uh, that he gets, and no matter what, in which case I would respect that? Or is he selectively leaking based on his political motives? Now that that uh, suspicion is out there and it's real and it's possible, well, now I'm concerned that uh, that it can't be trusted. And so, again, that's also not drama. That's a that's super huge news that no one else covered except me. That the number one online news show is McCarthy smearing. Well, what they did was they called him a trumper. They they said that Julian Assange is siding with the guy at the moment who's trying to kill him, Donald Trump. That's the current crazy people. And why would they do that? I don't, I, I don't know. They took $20 Wait, million dollars from that no one else covered except me. That the number one online news show is McCarthy smearing. Well, what they did was they called him a Trumper. They, they said that Julian Assange is. So is Julian Assange a Trumper? Not that it matters, but like, is he? Or is he? Siding with the guy at the moment who's trying to kill him, Donald Trump. That's the current. Okay, so I guess not. I guess Jimmy is saying that Trump, if I heard him correctly, that Trump is trying to kill him. Crazy. And And you know what? He's been using a lot of strong words. So, like I said, I'm going to have to do some research in this. Kill him. I don't know. They took $20 million from Katzenberg, and they're signaling to another donor. Because Jack took $20 million, and he blew through it. It's go- it blew through it, <laughs> which is why they have to do their televangelist. First style. of all, TYT, I met like he said. Uh, hold on. And they're signaling to another donor because Jack took twenty million dollars and he blew through it. So the donor, I see TYT as um, I don't know, a prostitute, like a sugar, you know, sugar daddies. I see the donors as the sugar daddy and TYT 
as the chick. Okay, they're just taking money from their sugar daddy. That's how I see the whole thing. It's go it blew through it, which is why they have to do their televangelist style uh, of fundraising campaigns, which are uh, stomach churning and shock the conscience, actually. Uh, so that's so. My guess is that that he's uh, signaling to another donor there. Do you think that's important, Aaron, for me to? To bring it to this contact that's important it shows a pattern of behavior yeah sure look there's a lot uh about jank to, to criticize you know like in the process you know we've also ca caught him lying about you when he called you a liar for yeah. saying that he yes. uh that he really advocated War bombing syria he called you a liar for that and then we you know there's tape of him advocating bombing syria he called me the preposterous yeah, he said i was a preposterous he said it was a preposterous liar that he never i never said all right so um we're gonna go back to kyle's video now so this video came out before kyle's video grip to refine for the horsepower gotta run enough a seafood tower know that i'm here for a reason Ice. problem red and impasse i think that's a perfectly fair question and i would feel obligated i would feel a responsibility to ask that question if he came on crystal kyle and friends and i know Jimmy does not agree. Jimmy thinks that's an unfair question. He thinks it's unfair, and he definitely thinks it validates the smear. And so now, what are we supposed to do? We're at an impasse. I feel an obligation. I feel a responsibility to ask a tough, but I think fair question. He thinks that's an unfair question. In my opinion, the best solution, and since Jimmy's my friend, this is what I, uh, I fell back on, is let's just not have him on. Let's just not have him on, and we don't have to ask the question. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Now, people could actually come after me from the opposite perspective on this and say, if anything, that's not fair and that's weak of Kyle because he's basically covering for his friend Jimmy. He was going to ask him a tough but fair question, but he'd rather dodge and punt and not have him on the show at all, so he doesn't have to ask him that tough question. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I was not paying attention to that. Listen, I, I'm doing some research, some little skim, like, skimming some research on the whole Assange thing and something just really like got to me so it's one of the people who was defending Assange who's saying free Assange um I'm reading another one of his comments and he said and it was to the Breonna Taylor situation and he said this is insane the officers need to be charged the same person who's defending Assange Hmm. That just makes me think. But like I said, I'm not just going to be all like, I'm pro Assange now, but I don't know. Now I'm a little biased, but I will have to do some more research on Assange. Obligation. I feel a responsibility to ask a tough, but I think fair question. He thinks that's an unfair question. In my opinion, the best solution, and since Jimmy's my friend, this is what I, uh, I fell back on is let's just not have him on. Let's just not have him on and we don't have to ask the question. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Now, people could actually come after me from the opposite perspective on this and say, if anything, that's not fair and that's weak of Kyle because <laughs> he's basically covering for his friend Jimmy. First of all, they all have, like, like many of them have called you weak. But guess what? If Let me tell you something. Any, all of you guys that are calling you weak, when you see me in real life, it's going to be on. Like, we'll see who's really weak. Because Kyle is our future. Okay? Kyle Kalinske is the future of the left. He must be protected at all costs. Like, at all costs. Like, you know how Gothics has a defense force and Leon, he's basically <laughs> ruined by Leon. He's the, he's the secretary of the Gothics defense force. Um, I... No, I'm not the secretary. Who would be the secretary of the Secular Talk Defense Force? Um, it wouldn't be... I don't know. Uh, Mike Figueroa? Could it be him from Humanist Report? Rational, um, uh, Doyle, what's his name? I forgot his name. Uh, David Doyle, yeah, David Doyle? Who is the secretary of the, um... Kyle Kalinske Defense Force. 
Shit, I, I'll be. He was going to ask him a tough but fair question, but he'd rather dodge and punt and not have him on the show at all, so he doesn't have to a ask him that tough question. And to that I say, I'm kind of guilty of that criticism. Yes, I mean, that was one of the reasons. I didn't want to jeopardize my friendship with him by asking him what I thought was a tough but queer, fair question and he thought was an unfair question. And that's the thing people aren't getting. That's the thing Jimmy's not getting about this. It took a lot of courage for him to just be able to say that, like, to address that without jeopardizing that friendship. And he tried to be respectful. But like I said, mistakes were made, okay? He could have, like, scheduled a time outside of um, YouTube, not public, when you guys could have talked about this sort of thing, okay? Like, frankly, I don't understand why there's this theatrics. Like, we don't need this many much theatrics. Like, so much melodrama. See, this is why Africa is better than America, because we're not... Okay, no, I take that back. I take that back. Us, Avoyan, I've, I've, we are incredibly melodramatic. They are incredibly melodramatic. Like, always in exclaiming. Always cl pearl clutching. <laughs> like, eh, eh. <laughs> hi, hi, met. <laughs> you don't get it. That, that's Ivory and humor. I didn't want to jeopardize my friendship with him. I also didn't want to have to argue about the legitimacy of a question that I think is very legitimate. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? I didn't want to get into the personal argument and have personal strife over that. Okay, so, so we know the question is legitimate. Like, I, I think everybody is coming, entering this in good faith. So we know the question is legitimate. Oh, and, and understand something, guys. We had Vosh on the podcast, and he, he previously accused me and Crystal being grifters and every negative thing under the sun. And so we... So that's one of the things I disagreed with Vosh with. Because there's something y'all need to know. I disagree with Vosh on a lot of things. However, um, I agree with him on most things. Like, I like that um, he calls out racism... Like, whenever black people are racist, he calls it out. I really want to make that more popular on the left, holding black people accountable. Like, if we do that, we are so set for life, okay? Because the thing we need to realize is that we don't have to play identity politics. We don't. Like... And don't worry, black people. And if you're worried that black people are gonna run off to the Republicans once we start holding them accountable, don't worry about that. They're not. I feel like after that, they're just gonna choose to not align themselves with leftists or conservatives. Even though, like I said, the black community is pretty conservative. Again, future video for a video for another day. But um, yeah, I think they're just gonna like be independent. But um, our policies, if we, like the policies, the economic policies, hopefully they'll maybe like favor us. Like we can still get a majority of them, but you know, them as a whole, they don't all have to vote Democrat, vote left for those who are left leaning. But um, what was I talking about? I was talking about, um, yeah, Vosh. Like, so, one of the things I disagreed with him is when he called Brianna Joy Gray a grifter. Hold on. I have this video. Vosh. Ray. Sorry. My finger slipped. Vosh, Brianna Joy Gray. Oh, and another thing. Did you guys know that they called Brianna Joy Gray and Uncle Tom? Did you know that? See? Choosing violence on Twitter. So you've chosen violence. And that's what, listen, I'm glad I never had Twitter because I don't know how many times I would curse people out. Like these deranged Twitter lefties. Um, minimum wage discourse. So you guys both agree that they should increase the minimum wage. So why are you fighting her, Vosh? Hmm? Why? And they did call Brianna Joy Gray and Uncle Tom. So if Gothic says that, oh, only black conservatives get called, ugly black conservatives get called Uncle Tom to play identity, because of identity politics that the left does to convey a narrative, a narrative. <laughs> yeah, she's wrong. Um, definitely. And this is, listen, Don Lemon gets 
get called an Uncle Tom. I don't care. Fuck Don Lemon. I'm glad. Like, but yes, educated black people on the right and the left always get called Uncle Tom, okay? Breonna Joy Gray is an educated black woman who I think is a great advocate for the for the type of progressivism of like the Jimmy Dore type of progressivism. She is a great advocate for young black people. Okay? To follow that sort of thing. In fact, she's part of the reason I started getting into the Jimmy Dore type of progressivism. So yes, and she definitely was called an Uncle Tom. Jimmy Dore points this out. Um he pointed I don't have a, and I, I wish I had receipts for when she called her Uncle Tom, but just going to take Jimmy's word for it. I'll put in a receipt for when uh, when he was on that interview with the Vanguard where he revealed that they um, called her an Uncle Tom. Uh, I may, I may um, take a piece of that video out and then show you where he says this, and then I'll do some, my own research. But just know they called Brianna Joy Gray and Uncle Tom. But yeah, that's one of the things I disagreed with Vosh on. And to talk about that was a little awkward, absolutely. No, I'm, I don't even know Vosh that well. Uh, we had Andrew Yang on the podcast. I don't know Andrew Yang at all. We had to press him on BDS, and when he basically was like, Israel killing civilians is totally fine, and killing children oh, is yeah. fine. We had to push him on all these things. It was awkward. So I used to tolerate... And I say tolerate because, listen, I um, I saw a lot of right-wingers like Andrew Yang. So I, th does that mean that I was repulsed by Andrew Yang? No, because he seemed like a pretty good dude, okay? Like, I, re I remember on the night of the election, um, God, I, you know I stayed awake for those long, long hours for the first three days. Then I just passed out after day three of the counting. But, yeah, I saw him on CNN. Um, he was like, he was like, I'm so excited Biden is winning. And yeah, and he tried to tell, um, he tried to tell Don Lemon's bitch ass about how, um, whenever people talk about Democrats and their policies, like, especially the working class, they get a little reluctant and we need to work on that. And Don Lemon is just like, Trump, oh, so Trump supporters bad. So orange man bad. He's just focused on Trump. Which, um, and I, as I was doing this research on Julian Assange, it does appear that Trump does have it out for Julian. Mm hmm So, all you tribal lefties out there, definitely, like, keep that in mind, that Trump has it out for Julian. And we need a, like, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, or the, 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 um, the prey of my enemy is an ally, as I like to say. But, um, yeah, Andrew Yang, he's cool. Like, he's not perfect. Like, the fact that he pretended to like rap music um, or that shit he said about Israel and Palestine. But that's when I just really um, needed a break from him, when he said that shit about Israel and Palestine. I'm very emotional about Israel and Palestine. I grew up in a Muslim family. Um, I'm still somewhat Muslim. I don't eat pork. Um, I, uh... I'll pray every now and then. I know the prayers. Bismillah rahman rahim Um, la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Um, and yeah, that coincides with my uh, politics. You know, because as you know, Muslims, they're definitely not gay friendly. <laughs> definitely not. But, um, yeah. Uh, but wait, what the fuck was that talking about? So yeah, Andrew Yang, Israel and Palestine definitely did not agree with that. Word, and I don't even know them that well. Jimmy, I know pretty well, and my question for him would be even more awkward and more personal, and I didn't want to do it. And I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to ask him about it. But I would have felt like a fraud if I didn't ask him a tough but fair question like that. So what did I do? I did what I thought was the better thing for me, because I don't want to deal with the personal strife, but also for him. Because he would think it's a question, and so I punted. I didn't want him on. So when he's talking there, shaking his head, saying that's not true, when what I'm saying is is definitely true, 
My point is, if I have you on, I have to ask about this. I don't have a choice. I think that's <laughs> my responsibility, my obligation. There, see, that's that's the problem. First of all, I'm kind of resentful at Jimmy for putting Kyle in this place. Like, and you know what? It hasn't shooken up Kyle that much. Like, he's still talking about other shit. Like, here are some of his, his videos after that. Um, he's talking about Julian Assange's brother and father. Oh, they interviewed them on Crystal and Kyle podcast. Oh, I, I'm going to definitely watch that since I'm doing my own research on Assange. Um. Biden snaps at media over pro-war questions. Cranky Biden. Child sniffing Biden. See, I, um, oh, the Shakari Richardson. My God. Like, it's true. And, you know, y'all know her mother died, right? Her, uh, yeah, her mother died. Like, she was stressed after that. It's true she broke the rules, but, and she does take responsibility but um, can they cut her some slack? Like, doesn't weed actually hinder her performance? Like, I, and I'm not gonna go the whole route that it's racism, but um, cause it's not. Like, Michael Phelps, he um, he got banned and he lost a sponsorship for <laughs> smoking weed. Um, but yeah. But what I will say is that um. This is an example of how black people are not victims. Like, you'll see gothics, um, I, I, uh, like that guy she had on, Coleman, that Coleman dude, say that black people, they're stuck in this victimhood mentality. That's bullshit, okay? Like, there are a few people, black people, like the deranged Twitter black people who are saying everything is racist, like, like, fat phobia is racist, um, or that, uh, shit, God knows what else is racist. Some like things that are not racist are racist. Those lefties that will um who are, I guess, in a sort of victimhood, but even they're not. Like even those lefties, they must have a job. Like they must work. They must do something for themselves. But most black people are not in a victimhood mentality. Just because we call out the shit that police do against black people that does not mean we are in a victim mentality. Shikari included. She she got where she was through her achievements, through wanting to be better. Okay? And she, she skews off that path a little. Like, she decides, I need a break from all this. Smoke some weed. And they penalize her for it. And after the stress of losing her mother, like, it's just so unfair. But, um, so you see Kyle is talking about some other stuff. We're now at an impasse, and we're never going to see... We are definitely at an impasse, which this impasse would be avoided if we would stop doing some goddamn leftist infighting and figure out a solution, so that way our enemies, who are currently peeking all over this, as you see over here, don't catch a glimpse of our weakness. Okay? I had an eye on that. And so, even though I agree with Jimmy completely that effectively he was, he was blackmailed, he was threatened, and it's unfair. Okay, and no, I don't agree with Jimmy on that. Like, I know I'm playing devil's advocate, but my thing is, does it even count as blackmail if he showed it to everybody? Like, clearly, it, like, even if it was intended to blackmail, it kind of lost its effect when he showed it to everyone. And he has every right to swat aside those allegations, and I'm happy he did, and he should do that. But the way he did it went a little overboard, and he was slut-shaming Anna. I'm sorry. I think that's a fact, even though Jimmy's my friend. Bingo. Hit the nail right on the head. And you know what? It's true, okay? He basically was slut-shaming Anna. Like, we can all admit that. Like, they're still friends. They're still cool. Like, he apologized. So, that's it. Like, and I said this in the way in the beginning. Like, I agree with Jimmy on a lot of things, but what he did was really shitty. But am I going to hold him that against him? No, he apologized then. But I'm saying it would be nice if he apologized now. Like, apologize to me. Because that shit was terrible. You apologize to Anna, but apologize to all of us. Say that I'm sorry for what I did. I regret my actions back then. Because sh I feel for Anna. Like, I'm not, and I always have to say this because fuck TYT. They accepted money from donors. They're whores. They're sluts.
they are accepting money from sugar daddy donors. Let go. Whatever their name was. I forgot. I'm so tired. But, um, yeah. I feel for Anna. And this scene, this right here, it is important that Kyle, this is basically this whole video summed up. And he has every right to swat aside those allegations, and I'm happy he did, and he should do that. But the way he did it went a little overboard, and he was slut-shaming Anna. I'm sorry, I think that's a fact, even though Jimmy's my friend. And so I would have had to ask him a question. That's just this whole video summed up. That Jimmy's my friend, but he slut-shamed Anna, and that's not all right. So, um... I'm not going to say this is the end of this video because there's not. There's going to be a part two. Um, so let me remember where I'm at. I'm at 12.35. And we will write, watch most because uh, we're not going to get to the end of this. We didn't get to the end of the Jimmy video. I didn't expect it to be this long. But we will get to a certain point where there will that will be the end of it. But this is part one. There will be a part two of this video coming up. Bye, see you in part two.